It may not be on everyone's radar yet, but buyouts are back on the reserve list. In today's video, we'll go through the hot 10, but not only that, we'll be discussing the effects of the market since Lord of the Rings was announced. There's some crazy stuff going on, and it's something players need to know about. Today's video, it's going to go one of two ways. If you're a fan of the reserve list, you're going to give this video a thumbs up. You're going to love everything I'm about to tell you. And if you don't like the reserve list, get yourself some nachos and cheese. Pay attention to the mountains in the background that I put up today. Sit down and just be prepared for all this horrible news that I'm about to give you. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thanks again for hanging out with me on the channel today. As we go over five cards on today's list in a buyout situation. That's right. I actually used the word again. Buyout. Not a single card. Buyouts. Scary, right? I know. We haven't had them for a while and not to this magnitude, but that's where we're at. And yes, this is a hot 10 video for the reserve list. The hottest selling cards on the reserve list this week. But you'll see as I start the video and go through the cards, it's more than that. Ever since we've had Commander Masters announced, followed by Lord of the Rings and the price points of those products, forget the cards that could be contained within, but look at the price points for sealed product and that has more players recognizing the value of the reserve list as much as Wizards of the Coast wants to create a new thing for players to collect. Having that security of knowing the card's not going to get reprinted is an entirely different beast unto itself. And it does attract an, a certain audience of player who wants to get some of those cards. Not to mention, anytime you have a new card that comes out, like the One Ring, things can get broken, right? From Lord of the Rings. The, t -t the, temptation, t -t -t the temptation can be so great for some players that they will sink in some seriously big money. And I'm not talking millions of dollars. But on the reserve list, even five to $10,000 can do massive, massive damage to deplete the available stock of those cards. And we're not in the type of world right now where stores are bulking up on a lot of this stuff. So it just disappears and drains from the pool. It's just gone. Take a look at some of the cards I'm talking about today and you'll have an understanding of what I mean. So let's, oh wait, you thought I was done? No, I'm not done. I forgot. I wish I had my nachos and cheese. I'd be crunching away right now because there are two cards on today's list that replaced cards on the regular Hot 10 video. That's right. The number one and number two card today actually replaced the number nine and number 10 card from yesterday's Hot 10 video. You can go back and, you can go back and watch that video. You can see there's two cards missing because they're on today's video. They are reserve list cards invading the regular standard set block. Crazy stuff, guys. Now we're ready to take our journey down the yellow brick road, be attacked by flying monkeys, and just have a good time with it. And I can't wait to discuss this stuff with you guys on the live stream tonight, which would be 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Because this stuff is crazy, and the fact it's coming around again and seems to be accelerating is... Whew, that is something that we haven't seen for a while. And for those of us who are fans of the reserve list, it's 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 pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's, let's jump to this and please put those comments down in the comment section. This is gonna be awesome. Now, at the start of our journey today is number 10 with Sliver Queen. 41 sales this week, March 11th to the 17th of 2023. All time high, $599 US, March of 2021. And yes, in today's video, all prices are in US dollars. The all time low for this card is $28.02 way back in November of 2012. And the current price tag is $374.50. That is for a near mint copy, but the sheer volume of sales ever since they announced that there is a sliver deck coming out for Commander Masters has spurred on the amount of sales we're seeing for Sliver Queen. I know it seems odd because they could be putting better cards in. There's new cards coming to the set. But whenever you have a sliver you want, and this is the only one that cannot be reprinted, that is why the sales would be spurred on. And a lot of the sales this week are going to be from lower end versions. Heavily played, moderately played versions of this card 
are the ones that are selling, so keep that stuff in mind. It's not all near mint, okay? There are a few near mints, but a lot of these are not. Now, the number nine card this week is Rainbow Veil. Can you believe it? Rainbow Veil, Fallen Empires, back in action. 46 sales this week. All-time high, $19.99 in August of 2020. The all-time low, 48 cents way back in March of 2013. Guys, that's 10 years ago. Look how far this car has come. And now we have the current price tag of $7.39. Whenever you think of these kind of low-end cards, and let's face it, Fallen Empires is a low-end set. But remember, Rainbow Veil gives you any color you need. And for some Commander players, that's all they need. They don't care what happens to the card after they've tapped it. It doesn't matter to them. They don't care what's going to happen. Although I personally like to sacrifice mine to a Zernorb. When you don't get the chance, this is just crazy stuff. And the price point right now is very good because that's for near mint copies. And in this case, it was a lot of near mint sales. Okay, keep that stuff in mind. Now let's jump down to number eight this week. And this was a bit of a surprise for me. This is Null Rod. 49 sales this week with an all-time high of $449 March of 2021. The all-time low, $4.23 way back in July 2014. And the current price tag is $80.89. People are noticing those lower level but not deadbeat reserve list cards. You know, Null Rod does have a play place. People do have a reason to buy this card. And they recognize the price point. When you look at any new cards that Wizards is trying to fancy schmancy out there and say, this is the card you should buy, when a player looks back at a Metal Worker, at a Null Rod, or give you an Archaeologist, all these amazingly epic cards that are on the reserve list, that's where money seems to be flowing. So always, guys, keep an eye on the stuff you want, but always reflect on cards that could be possible by just saving a few bucks. Now, our next card on the list at number seven this week is Quirion Druid again, okay, guys? I know we talked about this last week, but the sales are reflecting, the players are recognizing it. it is a pretty good card, depending on why you want to have a copy. 54 sales this week, all-time high, $17.80, February of 2021, all-time low, $0.35, cents, December of 2014, and the current price tag, it's $3.59, guys. We're talking, you can get a play set of near mint for less than $15 bucks US. And that is what we're talking about when it comes to lower end reserve list cards that are unique. This is not a dead card. It's not pure junk. It can actually do something. It can actually help your deck out. It can be a little bit janky and fun when people don't expect it. And remember guys, if you're buying anything through TCG Player, please, this is my shilling bit where I say, hey, help the Mox men out. Go ahead and use my affiliate link found in the description of all of my videos. It gives a kickback to the channel. I really appreciate everyone who uses my affiliate link. So thanks again, everyone. Now we're going to take a look at number six. And you'll see, guys, when you start seeing these sales, you see how they're starting to go up, right? That's what we're talking about. And here we have Conchhorn. Now, guys, 70 sales. We're talking this counts kind of like a buyout, right? So that's 70 copies in a week. All-time high for this card is $18.45, February 2021. All-time low, $0.30, cents, March 2017. So in five years, this, car has, this card's gone insane. And there's a reason why. The current price is $4.28. And yes, I get it. It's, it's a Fallen Empires card, but it's a generic artifact that can go anywhere and act as your own sort of like brainstorm type card, right? And that means even decks that don't have that kind of ramp can make use of a card like this. And a near mint copy for four bucks, moderately played for $2. You see where I'm going with this. It can be played anywhere and all you need is a play set of four and you're done. You don't have to worry about it. But there's only a finite amount of near mint copies because Fallen Empires was, it was pretty abused. Now this was number six. We've got to go ahead now and take a look at the number five card. And this is where we start talking about some serious sales. Here we have Didgeridoo. That's right, I know we're back in Homelands now, but this card's had a lot of sales again. This is like the third week in a row. 75 sales this week, all time high, $59.99, January 2021. An all time low of 69 cents way back in September of 2012, 11 years ago, but the current price, it's still below 15 bucks guys. $14.66. I love the price point. I like the fact that the market is not reacting to cards like this yet, causing no serious spikes. Almost every card on this list has not spiked that much. They've all 
been unreactive in the secondary market, which means there's enough of a flow of cards that as they're being bought, it's, it's being absorbed by the market. It's okay. And now we're coming to, yes, a personal favorite, but it's at number four this week. And that is Soldevi Excavations. 119 sales, guys. Third week in a row, we are over 100 sales for this card. All-time high, $44.89. And yes, that's from the people on this channel. Thank you very much. An all-time low, $0.89 cents in April of 2013. And the current price tag is $20.25. I actually think by the time you watch this video, it slipped a little bit. But this is the price I recorded when I did the video. So I realized that these prices may not be you know, a few cents off here or there, depending on how MTG market and stuff reflected on it. Okay, But that's where I was at when I did the recording. So it's very interesting to see this thing has climbed from the $18 and just kept going up. Now it's above 20 bucks. This card is reacting to the market buyouts and the strong sales it's having recently has really lent to a bit of a spike in the card. It isn't a jump spike, thank goodness. We haven't had hundreds of copies sell in a day, but it is starting to be reactive on the market. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the number three card. I know you guys can't believe you thought it was gonna be so Debbie. You thought these were the cards that were going to be the number nine and number 10 card from yesterday's video, but they're not. And this one's not either. This is the Draconian Silex. Okay. Fallen Empires again, 206 sales, 206 everyone. The all time high for this card, it's only $5 and 38 cents, March of 2021. The all time low 25 cents, March, 2017. And the current price is a dollar 20, which means for 200 bucks, somebody bought basically 200 copies depending on the condition and it's their own bio we've talked about this before many times on the channel some people do this just for fun but let's take a look at that card this junky worthless card um oh yeah discard a card at random and it regenerates a creature that's not such a bad thing is it i've talked about this card in the past this is not the worst ability because there's nothing doing regeneration anymore so cards like this that are generic cards that can be thrown into any deck to cause regeneration in one of your creatures you're trying to keep alive is a very good thing. Now, we're here, guys. We've made it this far. We are now down to the cards you've just been dying to see. Okay, these are the cards that will be your number 9 and number 10 on the list, okay? And our first card is going to be Royal Decree. At the number 10 slot for yesterday's video, right, for the hot 10, this is the number 10 card. 338 sales, March 11th to the 17th, but it's the number two card in today's video. Now, the all-time high is $4.99, June 2022. The all-time low is $0.28, cents, March of 2017, and the current price tag is $3.45. And as you can tell, this one had a bit of a spike, and I wonder why. It's the sheer quantity that sold that made it happen. Guys, cumulative upkeep is not as big of a deal as it used to be. There's so many cards that can work around it and make the cards come back that this Alliances card is really not that bad, but it's not number one. Royal Decree is not the number one card. And the next card is number one on this week's Hot 10, but guess what? It's the number nine card on yesterday's video, and you guessed it. The next card is going to be, can you believe it? I know, we're all surprised, right? Mind over matter. Now, Mind Over Matter, yes, it's the number nine card. 479 sales. Because people saw what happened with the one ring. This is not just people buying it. This is also speculators diving in on this card. The all-time high, $138.99, January 2021. The all-time low is $6, November of 2013. And the current price tag, which yes, you can see it is spiking. It's jumped all the way up to $99.97. And you know what? I did a video saying, don't be a Timmy. You can go back and watch that video. But in this case, I would say the same thing. Wait for this combo to calm down. Look what's happening. And you can see these sales are crazy. TCG players basically sold out. Things are selling on eBay. I've seen B uh, BGS copies and stuff selling. This, it's one of those moments again. Where people go back and say, oh yeah, the reserve list. I, I better get my copies now. And I understand. I know a lot of you guys sent me some of those photos when you had bought Mind Over Matter about a year ago when I had recommended it because it was so cheap. 
And I know some of you guys already traded in and flipped in some copies. Congratulations, good for you guys for specking on the card and making a few bucks. I understand how difficult it can be to tie up your money into cards that may go nowhere. But the thing is you never know when they're going to connect, which is why when a reserve list card is under five bucks, it's probably not a bad thing to pick up a play set of four. That's usually what I recommend. Grab four copies. It's on the reserve list. Grab, grab four. Why not? It's not going to hurt to have it, especially if it's only 20 bucks at a time, you're buying a few individual cards. But as the one person showed me, they traded in eight copies and they got actually a couple of dual lands, which is pretty awesome. Um, congratulations. I think that's, that's awesome. You managed to trade up into higher level cards. When you're looking at these sales, it's not over yet. The price points that Wizards is putting on some of their products and some of the cards they're bringing around, such as like the Sliver deck, um, the Eldrazi, this is going to drive sales in different areas of the market, depending on which cards they've included in the set. But when you have a card like the One Ring and Mind Over Matter, those kind of crazy combos, I believe they will calm down. They, they will, About a year later, eight, nine months, they always calm down. Prices will settle and allow other players the opportunity to get some of these cards, but we don't know what else is coming. And that's why it never hurts to buy a few cards on the reserve list here and there, assuming you can afford it. So thanks again, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I know some people would be like, this was awesome. Other people are like, I hate this video. I, I get it. I understand entirely how people feel about their really strong feelings one way or the other. But either way, it's news people need to know about. It's, it's sales they need to know to see where the market is headed. And a lot of this is directly correlated to Wizards pricing products at a higher price point, making players go, why should I buy a higher price product when I can get a decent reserve list card at the same price? Anyway, thanks for being here. Slam some comments down in the comment section. Thank you everyone for allowing me to entertain you on today's video. I can't wait to discuss this on the live stream tonight. And of course, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Help me get closer to that 20K. When I get to that 20K, we are going to have a party. I can't wait. Hey guys, a big shout out and thank you to all my fantastic patrons on the channel. Thanks again to my regular viewers, the amazing patrons who support the channel, my YouTube membership members. Guys, everyone out there, this is a journey I can't forget and it's because of you guys. Welcome back to the end. I went and saw Shazam with my kid. Loved it. Good. Lighthearted flick. Kind of funny in a lot of sections. They could have done better, as always with sequels, but I was still, I thought it was pretty good. Entertaining at least. And uh, yeah, some of those Soldevi excavations, yes, I bought some, okay? You know, last week I spun the wheel and I, I had to buy one because that's what the wheel told me to do on the live stream when you guys had me spin it. And then of course I wanted to buy some extra copies for the channel. And yeah, so that's that's a lot of sales for a lot of reserve list cards, guys. That is a big movement on the list. An honorable mention would go to like dual lands. Because they didn't make the list, but man, was there a lot of sales. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. See you guys in the live stream. Love it, man. Wish I had like... Nah, I don't have to wish. We can make it happen.